I have never seen a bigger set of losers get together on a live stream in my life. I've never seen it before. Like this is, this takes the cake. You have four people from four different areas, like four different kind of planets that they're on with their own set of problems. I've never seen a more pathetic incel live stream in my life. Albert Menendez, Cyan Razor Cell, Dean TV, and friggin' Carl. These are the four that were on a, a live panel together talking about issues and drama. Get the F out of here. And then Rabbit Dude, the autistic short bus riding prick, makes his appearance and says, hey guys, I'm just moderating here. Shut the F up and get the F off stream and stay in the chat, you idiot. My God, that was so pathetic watching that yesterday. Then Albert Menendez is like, He's like overprotective of Cyan, like like a like an overprotective boyfriend, right? You know how they are, like a like an overprotective boyfriend of their girlfriend. You got Albert Menendez being overprotective of Cyan, like oh, Cy exactly Cyan, and then he's not reading the comments which are directed towards Cyan. He's like, no, 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 let's just hide that one. Like shut the f up, Albert. You're such a loser. You're such a five foot two shrimp, Nosferatu looking piece of trash, prancing around the streets of Florida with your shirt off. My God. God and you're homeless. It's ridiculous. It's like you're, you're, you, anything Cyan raised yourself was saying, you were right there like a cock. Yeah, exactly, Cyan. Yeah, and I agree. And I agree. Yeah, NFTs are great. Like, oh, yeah. And, and then crypto's great. And yeah, Cyan's great. Like, shut up, dude. It's so cringe. You're such a loser. Why don't you be a man for once in your life, Albert Menendez, and ask the hard questions, all right? Hey, Cyan, raise yourself. Okay, first of all, then Dean TV, the loser with 50,000 subscribers, right, with this worthless garbage YouTube channel that no one wants watches that piece of trash uh, tells cyan he's like hey cyan um where have you been you haven't been here for a while where have you been what do you mean where have you been cyan's been here in the alt accounts the whole damn time watching all of this cyan le didn't leave anywhere cyan has been here from day one till now right in the front lines reading everything and commenting on alt accounts all right don't act like cyan was gone for a while and came back and no cyan's a loser that has nothing going on in his life except being a genetic freak and figuring out whether he's a male or female with a chin like buzz lightyear <clears throat> like you know how when you go on dating sites sometimes some girls have something like uh, figuring out my dating goals. You got Cyan Razor Cell with his goal, figuring out my gender goals. That's what Cyan Razor Cell is. And then you got friggin' Carl, some obnoxious short bus Carl, like adding in his two cents every time. It's annoying. Carl, stop yelling. Just talk normally. No one cares about your, your stupid input. You don't even know what it's like to live in the real world. You don't even know what it's like to actually go through actual hardships and live in the real world and actually have to start from day one as a baby and then until day whatever until you die. You don't know how that is. Okay, you're getting disability. You're in your stupid room with Q-tips all over the place. No one cares about you. You have no idea what it takes to actually live in the real world. Shut up. And, 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 then, and then I get tagged in a community post by Albert Menenkuk, and he's tagging me and Evil Streams. He's tagging me like, oh, oh, hey, Slotham, check out Rabbit Dude's pictures until you can show your fingers on the piano keys. I ain't going to believe it. Okay, first of all, I watched that video. Rabbit Dude, your drawings suck. And for everyone else to actually know, his drawings suck, and I'll tell you why. I have proof. I have proof of why his drawings suck. This guy... A rabbit dude, he supposedly has a graphics art degree, right? Supposedly, the special ed short bus rider, right? That's never had a job in his life and he's in his mid-30s. Supposedly has, has a graphics arts degree, right? And he shows these two crappy pictures on the wall that are framed. Okay, well, guess what, moron rabbit dude? I was making better pictures like that in friggin' grade 11 graphics arts class in high school, idiot. It's not that hard to do what you did. Moron, how long did it take you to make those? Like days, right? You took days on those pictures. It's not like you did that in an hour. You did that in days. Okay, that doesn't make you a good drawer, rabbit dude. You suck. And here's some more proof for anyone else listening to this that's like, oh, wow, that was good drawing. No, no, they suck. I'll tell you why. Because I have a sibling that doesn't do drawing for a profession. He does it for a hobby, just for fun. You hand him a piece of paper. He starts drawing something cool in friggin' 20 minutes. So I have seen what a good drawer is, and rabbit dude, you are not a good drawer. You suck at art, all right? You're autistic, you're a short bus rider. Stick to friggin' going around to different live streams begging for wrenches, 
Stick to that and being a short bus rider. That's it. You're not a good drawer. You suck. I saw your drawings. They're garbage. I was doing better drawings in grade 11 graphic arts class in high school. That's nothing. I have a sibling that can doodle better than that. In 20 minutes, draw up something better than that. And it's not his profession. He just does it for fun. He just has the skill. So rabbit dude, your drawings suck. You don't have the skill and you're a loser. How about that? idiot and I want everyone else listening to this to realize that his drawings are garbage don't just sit there like oh yeah those were good those were good if it takes you days to make it you can make anything good I can draw and take five days to make something I can make it look good too it's not that hard yeah go find a job uh, rabbit dude where you're asked to make something and he give you weeks to make it shut up you're supposed to do them in an hour or two you can't do that, rabbit dude, because you're a prick. Remember when he came on your stream, your live stream, and he showed a little doodle? That was hot garbage. That was garbage. That's you doodling? Trash. I know what people with art skill doodle and make good pictures. I've seen it myself. I've experienced it myself. And rabbit dude, you suck at drawing. So Albert Menenkuk, okay, Albert Menendez, you loser. You want to sit there? in your community post and tag me saying, oh, until I see the piano keys, that's nothing. Don't you dare ever compare Rabbit Dude's garbage drawings, which he probably traced in the first place, with my piano playing. Okay, don't you ever do that again. Don't you ever do that again. First of all, I do this for a hobby, all right? This isn't my profession. Rabbit Dude is graphics arts for a profession, and he sucks. He's garbage. I do this for a hobby, and I'm pretty damn good at it. You wish, Albert Menendez, you can do this with your five foot two shrimp small hands. You wish you could. So don't you ever compare my piano playing with Rabbit Dude's autistic drawings ever again. It's not happening, all right? And I don't have to show you my fingers playing the piano keys, all right? A real musician could realize those are real timings of actual person playing. I don't need to prove anything to you, prick. You're the same loser that was calling me the bad guy for going after Queefy Boy. Now all of a sudden you're going after Queefy Boy too, right? Now it's the new trend. Hey guys, let's get on the new train. First of all, you're all stealing my jokes. Every single one of you. Ricardo Cody's the biggest one. If you read, if you listen to Ricardo Cody's rants, he's literally taking all my jokes word for word and just repeating them. Thanks a lot, by the way. And then friggin' Cyan raise yourself. Cyan, Cyan, Riley Ross, loser. You want to mention on the live stream, oh, people were making fun of me about my dad, uh, Jonathan Ross, paying for your ticket to ThetaCon, but doesn't have this. Shut up. Who's your cell phone name under, idiot? It's your dad, Jonathan Ross. I bet you, you know what? You know what the funny thing is? I'll tell you exactly what it is. I'll tell you exactly what it is right now. The reason why Jonathan Ross, Cyan raise yourself's dad, is willing to have science cell phone in uh, Jonathan Ross's name is so that Jonathan Ross has an excuse every now and then to call his one and only pathetic son that's a girl and be like hey what's up how's it going that's their way of communicating I guarantee it I guarantee that's the reason why Jonathan Ross has a cell phone in his name so he has an excuse to call his two his one son that's a loser and be like hey is everything okay hey how's it going blah 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 that's why that's why it's like that so you're a loser cyan do you even have credit to friggin' put a cell phone in your name? Have you even built credit as a dog sitter? Loser? Huh? You're so pathetic that you have white specks on your monitor from all the friggin' creaming your pants that you've done in your friggin' room and you don't even have the decency to clean the monitor screen when you made the video. You're pathetic. You have bad hygiene. You're a loser. You're disgusting. You probably have diseases. You're filthy. No one wants to be close to you. You smell. Albert Menencock friggin' invites you into his blue tent to make love to him. And that's the closest thing you ever get to action. That's where you lost your virginity to, was a friggin' five foot two shrimp, bald headed hobo. Congratulations. Congratulations to Cyan Razor Soul. Idiot. My God, it's just the most pathetic losers getting together on a live stream talking about this and that, this and that. Meanwhile, I was the bad guy when, it was, when I was going after Darius, right, and defending myself and burying him. I was a bad guy. Now, all of a sudden, you guys don't give me any credit. Yeah, you better give me credit because I'm the reason 
that you're all still relevant. No one would care about your life, Albert. And the only reason Albert Menendez is so is such a cock to Riley Ross, because Albert Menendez doesn't have anyone in his real life that can call him his friend. So all he has is Cyan Razor Cell, which Albert Menendez knows has two millionaire parents. Albert Menendez knows that Cyan Razor Cell will be set for life because he's going to be spoon fed by his million dollar mom and his million dollar dad. And that's why Albert Menendez wants to be good friends with that. So that always, maybe there's a day that uh, there's a day that Albert needs to be bailed out of jail, and guess who's gonna be there? Cyan raise yourselves mommy's credit card, ready to bail out Albert Menendez. That's why Albert Menendez is such a cuck to friggin' Cyan raise yourself, and such an overprotective boyfriend, and not and just being so protective. Shut up, Albert. We're not talking to you. We're asking Cyan questions. All right, Albert, shut your mouth, idiot. You're all so pathetic. Then there's friggin' Dean TV inserting himself into the friggin' live stream. Some loser with 50k subscribers can't even break 30 views for video. And then when he, when he wants to impress his interviewees that, hey, I'm a popular channel, the guy used Google Ads to promote his videos because it's one cent per view in a third world country. Yes, I've done it before myself. That's exactly what it is. You can say whatever you want, Dean TV, Greek God, you're this, you're that, you get money different ways. Buddy, you procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind, some gargantuan loser, ugly as hell, fat, you already took the L. That's it, you took the L, now you're trying to recuperate, re you're trying to recover from your L that you took by saying these lies and those lies and this and that. No, no, let's focus on the fact that you procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind, along with friggin' Estella, James Campbell, you hobgoblin nose, 400 pound fat Estella marrying piece of trash that eats two pounds of block of cheese. All right, that's you, James Campbell, playing power wash with Queefy Boy on the friggin' sideline. Hey, Dean, how does it feel to have Darius trucks and call you a snowflake? How does that feel, idiot? You're getting friggin' buried by a chinless Queef at 27.72 in a dirty, disgusting apartment with a dirty vent. How does that feel, Dean TV? You're getting buried by Darius Truxton, the same guy that you defended when I was attacking Darius Truxton. How does that feel, moron? That's right, that's what you get. That's what you get for being such a loser and siding with a bunch of losers like Albert and Cyan. And then Cyan raised herself saying something like, oh yeah, Chief Debo's cool, we're gonna meet soon. Hey, Chief Debo, Make sure you have a nice, uh, a nice jar of penicillin ready, and, uh, penicillin ready, all right? Make sure you have that ready, Chief Debo, because you're going to need it. You don't know where Cyan Razor Cell, that filthy piece of trash with bad hygiene has been, all right? Make, be, be, sure to, be sure to make a Cyan Razor Cell put on that premium vest. This is so pathetic. This is the most pathetic live stream I've seen with four losers getting together and talking to each other. Pathetic. And then this friggin' Queefy boy by himself with two viewers, that racist piece of trash, Dave C, and that racist piece of trash, Sierra Air, and DJ Rudden, the friggin' autistic prick. Yeah, good job, Darius Trucks. A nice community you have there. Three viewers, great. Yeah, you're, you're really making it big, right? Remember you telling me that I have all fake viewers? I don't have real viewers? Have you seen my live stream lately? It's popping. We're all having a good time. We're all laughing. Did you see your live stream, Darius Truxton? It's pathetic. All a bunch of losers, all a bunch of incels. And this Sunday, I saw that you on your live stream, uh, Darius Truxton, yesterday, you were making the incel simulator. Well, this Sunday, we're going to build the Queefy Boy simulator. And we're going to get ideas from the community of how to build this game. That's what we're going to do on Sunday, the Queefy Boy Simulator, all right? And we're going to get it exactly to a T on how to build a game that's based on your crappy life, that you have no job, no car, no girlfriend, no life, no social life, no friends, no family. You never had a girlfriend in your life because you're pathetic. You proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo Toys because you're pathetic. You married a girl in Final Fantasy XI online because you're pathetic. You simped for Rachel or Roche Rochelle and telling her to call you instead of texting because she can't understand you through text. You're pathetic. Your sister thinks you're a piece of trash. Your sister's husband thinks you're a piece of trash. Darius, you're a loser. All right, so continue doing your part-time work, washing your stupid dishes at Wimpy's Diners and at Bojangles, and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet. 